These peaceful shores look more like paradise than a place of war. You can walk along the beach for, for miles and you won't see anyone. The calm, shallow waters attract summer visitors, but this island could soon also become a critical part of NATO territory, a move that's dividing locals. I think it's, uh, it's essentially it's a slap in the face to the Swedish democracy. So when we had the last election, they were against NATO, and now they have flipped and we're joining in NATO. It's just there where we differ, you and me, in between, um, because I believe that they have information that uh, the citizens don't have and shouldn't have. Not far from their popular surf lodge, the local Swedish army unit is ramping up. Soon it will have 4,000 war-ready personnel. We all see how Putin is, is ready to act. And the uh, judgment was that we need to increase the capability on the island as fast as possible. Gotland sits in the middle of the Baltic Sea, with Russia's Kaliningrad Navy base on the eastern side. If Sweden and Finland join NATO, it means all countries who border the sea will be part of the defence bloc. The one that control Gotland uh, can control a lot of the air and sea movements in uh, the Baltic Sea. This insistence that you, uh, by Russia, that you wouldn't see uh, an expansion of NATO was a challenge, and that challenge needed to be met. Otherwise, we wouldn't have, uh, the, we wouldn't even be standing up for the European security order. Already, war games have started on the island. Gotland hosted drills for one of the largest NATO exercises to ever take place in the Baltics. You want to go super high? The tanks and troops rolled past Otilia and Floyd's home. The family moved here for peace and serenity and now wonder what the future holds. The trail of war machines is now in their backyard. It's definitely the contrast between this peaceful nature and the, the pureness of life and then you see weapons. Gotland has long welcomed tourists who wanted to see their ancient fortresses and watchtowers. Still, residents here seem uncomfortable with their home becoming a modern-day defence base. But officials say this island has the power to determine security and order in all of Northern Europe. Leaders in Stockholm may be willing to relinquish the country's long-held wartime neutrality, but their bid to join NATO has stalled. Incumbent member state Turkey is blocking Sweden and Finland's application due to their support of Kurdish groups and an ongoing arms export ban. It turned out to be a bigger stumbling block, I think, than, than many of us anticipated. But I do think that eventually uh, the, uh, the ratification will take place. I think now we need to focus on peace negotiation. How can we focus on that instead of arming up? Because what is going to happen in response, we don't know. The serenity of island life disrupted by the ripples of war. Isabella Higgins, ABC News, Gotland.